What's up guys? Back at you again with another helpful video for your viewing pleasure. That's right. Pleasure. <clears throat> that felt good. But anyway, in today's video, someone was wanting to see how to make images move around in your iMovie video. So if you've ever seen someone having a subscribe button bouncing around on their screen, more than likely, they did exactly what I'm going to be showing you today. So I already have a video here laid out with us uh, for us with a little audio in the background. So before we jump into it, uh, here's what the video looks like. Not bad, not bad. Got your boy flexing out here in the photography world. Um, that dude zipped by pretty quick on that bike too, man. Now, I'm telling you, that scared me, scared me. But anyway, um, so what we're gonna do now is going, we're gonna go ahead and add the subscribe button image to the video. Uh, one important thing that you want to make sure is that the the subscribe button is a transparent image, uh, because if it's not, then it will not be able to be implemented as a picture-in-picture -picture effect. Uh, so. We have the subscribe button here. Now we're going to go to picture in picture and pay attention to the crop button. So let's say your subscribe button came up looking like this rather than the complete image. Uh, just remember to go to the crop section and click on fill and make sure it's not in a Ken Burns or a crop uh, selection. So now that we have that situated, you then want to pay attention to the dissolve. Let's get that zeroed out so it pops right into the image pretty quickly. And now what we're going to do is get this bad boy rocking and rolling. So pay attention to this. It's the keyframe uh, tool. So this is what pretty much allows you to move your image all around your video in the background. So we're going to move this off screen. You're going to hit the plus to start the keyframe process. So we're gonna hit that and then we're gonna actually move the subscribe button somewhere in the video to just automatically pop up. So we're gonna place it here, right? So once we have that situated, we're gonna let the video play a little bit and then we're gonna stop it. And then we're going to actually move it to another section, but let's make sure we have it uh, completely stretched out so we can actually manipulate it a little bit there. So that's my fault. So what we're going to do now is let the video play a little bit and then we're going to continue to move it around. So we're going to move it down to the bottom, let the video play. Then move it over here and let the video play. And just remember, you don't only have to hit that keyframe one time. So you, you can hit it as it, you know, if the image is already on the screen or if you want the image to kind of move into the video, uh, you can kind of start the keyframe off uh, the video and then it will move around. So let's take a look. All right, so it's kind of moving uh, throughout the, the video pretty smooth and pretty slow uh, as you continue to play with it and make it a little bit to your feel or whatever video you're doing or if you're wanting folks to subscribe and you may be going over what they need to do to subscribe to your channel, um, having a little bit more time of the subscribe button being on the screen can be beneficial. Now, if you want to make some changes, all you have to do is hit those arrow buttons and then click the the uh, initial button that has the X on it. So the same button we hit to start the transit, um, the keyframes will also be the button that you want to hit to erase uh, the movements. So we're going to start it all over to see if we can make it move a little quicker and uh, maybe make it look a little better for, for you guys. if. If you're wanting to see it move a, a little quicker and a little faster throughout the video. So kind of what that looks like is we're going to start off here. If 
we can get this bad boy selected. All right, let's give it a try. We can start it there. Let's uh, move it right here. All right, uh, now we're going to start it. Yep. Okay, so we start it. We're going to move it in. Boom, bada bing. Let the video play for a second. Boom, stop it. Move it down here. All right, let the video play. Stop it, move it up. Let the video play again. And make another move off the screen. And then it's a little bit still showing, so we're going to move that. And now we're going to take a look at it and uh, kind of see what we have here. And you, let's see, boom. So, boom. It pops right in. It moves down. It bounces. It's moving a lot quicker than uh, all those different movements. So, it just depends on how long you actually let the video play after you make a movement. So, if you put it in one place and let the video play for five seconds, it's going to stay still. And then, based off of your next movement for that five seconds, it's going to slowly but surely make its move. So, the quicker you hit uh, the space bar to let the video play, and you hit the space bar to stop the video, the little, the quicker the movements will be for you. But um, everybody's different. Everybody's looking for something different. So uh, just make sure you uh, give it a try. And that is pretty much it, guys. Another quick and easy video for your viewing pleasure from your boy, The Wonderer. Once again, I do appreciate you taking the time and uh, watching my videos. If this was helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Matter of fact, make sure you pimp smack that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And if you have any comments, make sure you leave them down below and your boy will get back to you with a video. Till next time, I'm out. Mm -hmm.